So today we've got here a massive update from AMD which addresses something that I've been longing for. And not only that, it'll make you live again. Or relive again, depending on how you look at it. Right? Back to Tech City, this is Brian coming to you guys today with a recent massive driver update that was announced from AMD and they are calling it Relive. And I'm calling it, thank f it's finally here update. Essentially, you now have the option to record your desktop and games manually and also set your bit rates from 1 megabit per second all the way up to 50 megabits per second and FPS with either option of 30 or 60. You can also use the Relive to stream to Twitch, YouTube or other sites and there is an option there to use different encoders. I opted to use the encoder built into the GPU itself. There is also the instant replay feature which was very easy to configure though if you do use this feature just make sure you have a heavy duty disk drive ready for all that recording and also it may introduce some stuttering especially on underpowered machines. Now, some other features with this software. There is a thing called HDMI Link Assurance, which can apparently detect faulty HDMI cables. And I've actually had a bad HDMI cable in the past, so something like this could save me some time. Not too shabby. There is also now support for FreeSync with borderless window mode, so those who have requested that shall receive. And lastly, a big feature implemented into this driver set is called the Chill feature, which allows you to switch it on with a global hotkey of F11. Now there is a limited amount of titles whitelisted for this, and this feature can reportedly lower the final output times of frames to your monitor. And with that said, it is good to see three highly competitive multiplayer games on that list. CSGO, World of Warcraft and Overwatch that could benefit competitive gamers in the real world. And I say could as I haven't tested this yet. And to be honest, I don't have the gear to accurately test this. Though, besides quicker frames, the chill feature also boasts power savings and the promise to keep your GPU cooler. Though keep in mind, support for this chill feature will be limited to GPUs that are only supported by the global Wattman feature. That is the R7 260 and upwards. Anyway, that all sounds good on paper. Let's talk about figures. With my GPU overclocked to the max, I saw some minor increases in both Infinite Warfare and also Battlefield 1 compared to the previous driver, which was good. And then moving on to the chill factor, I noticed that this feature was related to the actual processing detection of input of either the keyboard and or the mouse, with Infinite Warfare actually incurring a bug on my end that stopped the mouse from moving the character. Yet when moving the mouse, the game started shifting frames, which let this cat out of the bag instantly to how it actually works. Great feature if the postman is at your door or you want to save some micro cents on your power bill, or if you pass out frequently at the computer. Also, when using the HEVC encoder versus not using it, I didn't see any performance drop. Great stuff. Though I will have to do more testing here, and lastly, 3D Fire Strike saw a massive increase from 13,132 to 14,091. I might have to double check this, but that is a whopping increase from just one driver update to say the least. So there we have it. All in all, very impressive for the first iteration of a massive driver overhaul like Relive and I didn't notice any problems with the recordings, and it was really damn good, except there were some little annoyances for me, like not being able to hotkey function keys directly to manual recording, and also with the no indicator option turned on, there is literally no indicator at all. So you are in the dark if you accidentally double tapped, and you are not sure if it is recording or not. I would like to see them have the option for maybe like a little red dot in the corner or something. Though personally, I think AMD have been really on their game as of late, and I'm definitely loving this new style of commitment. We're seeing performance gains, cleaner software, and more awesome added functionality. This is certainly more than just a driver update, folks. This is life. Though seriously, all I need now from AMD is that big hitting 4K card, and I'll be having a good hard think about making that switch to Team Red on my daily driver. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments section below what do you think of the new AMD Relive driver update. Would love to hear your thoughts and opinions as always. And also don't forget to slam boozle that like button and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.